Everybody, this is Gabe from Gabe's Green Corner. Uh, kind of a somber note today is I, the first uh, page of my local paper says, Japan braces for total meltdown. Uh, they're referring to, of course, the uh, nuclear plant that's uh, slowly melting down. In this article, I talk about how it's eminent that it's going to happen. Um, very scary for me because, you know, everybody else too, that it's uh, something that's happening in the world where we might have a, a big nuclear meltdown that's going to impact thousands, if not millions of people. And uh, for me, I think back about... The Chernobyl incident and how that happened and uh, what can really happen to a people in a country and uh, have global implications when we have uh, big nuke plants melting down. It also has an impact on me because uh, the plant that's in Japan right now that's in the, the process of melting down is the same kind that we have in Minnesota. They were built by General Electric uh, 40 plus years ago and they actually just are trying to uh, ex expand the Minnesota's uh, nuclear program to uh, put in some more plants and uh, our plants actually are uh, one's on Prairie Island on a river and another one's by a river that it, uh, tends to flood seasonally. And uh, I don't know what you guys have to say about, you know, putting a nuclear plant on a river that uh, tends to flood with the possibility of, you know, who knows, waste going downstream, getting into our ecosystem in Minnesota, possibly washing down uh, rivers into the Gulf of Mexico and poisoning a lot of the U.S. on its way down. I really am not a person that's a proponent of uh, nuclear power. I think that with all the, the technology that we built into um, in the world today, we can do a lot with renewable energy. In fact, Minnesota right now has, uh, we started making solar panels in Minnesota with 10K solar. There's a couple other startups that are starting, and uh, Minnesota's got some fantastic rebates to help people put those on up to 60% for a business. If you're a business, why wouldn't you go renewable with solar power if you can have a one-year turnaround and pay back in uh, putting solar on your on your roof or doing wind or geothermal or some way to get yourself off the grid and away from the idea of expanding more coal burning plants or nuclear burning plants and get us away from these meltdowns. Uh, personally, I've seen some friends that were impacted by Chernobyl, um, really, really horribly impacted. I'm not going to go into that, but Chernobyl is a horrible thing. I really pray that that isn't what happens to the people of Japan, that they don't go into full-scale uh, nuclear meltdown where it broadcasts radiation across the whole whole country, but I know they just said on national public radio that Japan is calling for the U.S. military and the government to help them uh, do water drops on some of the fires on some of the on the nuke plant right now that's on fire uh, to try to put to put the, the fires out. That doesn't work. Um, those those radiation uh, it just keeps going forever. I don't know what to say about it. It's just uh, you know when you get those those fuel rods that uh, aren't totally spent, they can just keep radiating and radiating and radiating for a long time. I just hope that there's, uh, I don't know what to do, but I hope there's something that we can do that we can stop it. And uh, Japan's putting out a call for help right now. I hope the world responds and realizes that uh, even if people believe for other reasons they shouldn't help with the disaster and helping the country come back from what happened with the disaster that just hit them, we all need to work together to stop this uh, reactor from melting down further and, and turning the world into uh, having another Chernobyl because that's what we need to do. And uh, at the same time, we need to think about not putting more nuclear power on the planet and doing uh, more with renewables. So hope you guys have comments. Uh, you like what I have to say, friend me. And uh, the most we can do or the least we can do, I guess, is uh, pray for the people of Japan and, and help as much as we possibly can. Uh, donate to the American Red Cross or other uh, aid service organizations to help the people of Japan. Thanks.